What's up, YouTube? This is Fate here, back again with more Let's Play Phoenix Wright, and we are at part 7, and, uh, question for you people, how long would you like these, uh, episodes to be? Uh, previous episode was, like, around 16 minutes, and, uh, I'm thinking I'm probably going to make this around 20 minutes, and, uh, and see how it goes, and you guys can leave your opinions on that. And, uh, you know, back when I did this on, uh, Let's Play More Speed, the thing is, when I recorded those episodes, like, wow, it, it must, have been, must have been actually like a month ago when I last recorded any Phoenix right? But back then, uh, when LP More Speed wasn't even launched, uh, the channel obviously had the time limits. So I, I did the episode and they were around 10 to 12 minutes long and people said that you should make a longer episode, but I couldn't because, uh, LP Morsebit wasn't a uh, partner or anything when I did those and uh, it's kind of ironic that uh, soon after the launch it got partnered right away and then it didn't have the 15 minute time limit but here on my own channel I can also make longer episodes like you saw I uploaded an hour long <laughs> almost an hour long battle a while ago so I don't have the freaking time limit but uh, now I'm rambling too badly so we are going to jump into uh, the story while people are hopefully still interested even though this is not Pokemon. So uh, let's cut to the chase. Let's cut to the wild chase. So, case closed. You're coming down to the pre precinct. Blah blah blah. Precinct. Ma'am. Okay. So Dick Gumshoe is going to take Maya away because she is our main suspect. So this is kind of looking bad news bears. We know that the murderer is the Mr. Slimy Douchebag in pink suit, but it seems like he is trying to uh, blame this on Maya, so we'll see how this goes. goes. And there we go. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and I didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting waiting for vi visiting hours to begin at the de detention center, okay. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. So now we are at the detention center. 9.07 a.m. September 6th. September 6th, okay. <gasps> it's you, the lawyer! I don't really know if I should keep that voice. You guys can leave some comments. I like doing the voices, it's kind of funny, but uh, some people like, some people don't, so, you know, leave some comments about that. Okay, so let's try to see what's going on here. Okay, she is going to ask if we are going to, um, it's, she wants to know if uh, I want to be her attorney, and the choices are, it's up to you, of course I will. Sorry, not a chance. And I, in this episode, I'm not going to be a dick, so I'm going to be a righteous guy and say, of course I will. Oh, true. Of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Hmm. Oh, dear. Maybe this wasn't the right choice at all. But it shouldn't make a difference at this point. <coughs> Who would believe me? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is kind of looking bad. Hmm. I never thought. Okay. Heard? What about me? Oh. Okay. The, so the sisters were talking about me, and there is Mia. Okay. How did that go? It was quite the scene. Yes, it was. We got that Mr. Douche back and freed my friend in the previous episode. In the first episode. Yes. So he crashed and burned. He's a genius. Yes, I am a genius. That is true. That is true. One of those who <laughs> strike fear in the hearts of evil types. Okay. Yes, that's what I do my best. I strike fear to evil people's hearts. Okay. Okay, so they are rambling about me. Okay. Mm hmm. That is 
unless you want to be found guilty. Ooh. Okay, I guess she's uh, cheered up a bit now. That's cool. Oi! I didn't mean to trouble you. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get you out of this. Once we just get to the card and start smacking with some uh, objections. Okay, now we can talk. Let's see. Maya and the scene of the crime. Let's just go with Maya. Let's talk about he her for a bit, hoping to keep this con conversation alive. Yes? Mm -hmm. What is with the outfit? Take it off! I mean, yes. No, that was wrong. <laughs> Okay, accolades. Mm-hmm. Religious strain. Oh, it's nothing strange, really. So, she's a spirit medium. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so... Okay, now we got an option to talk about spirit medium. So, uh, let's go with that. So, you're an accolade. Mm-hmm. That's right. And the Faye family. Blah, blah, blah. Women have been blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Mia was into this stuff too. Kinda interesting, and now she was a lawyer. Her power, powers were first class too. We will get the side of her, her powers later. Actually. Wait, what? So you are a real honest uh, given spirit medium with ESP and all that stuff. In training, okay. Cool. Cool story, sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go. And let's now talk about the day of the crime. That should be kind of interesting. Let's see. Yes, tell us about the day of the murder. Yes, let's see. That morning I got a call from you. my sister. Okay. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Hmm. This sounds interesting. Yeah, that clock shaped uh, like the thinker. Okay. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Mm, right, she said something about that. Okay, you remember. Tell us, tell us. Ooh, yes, she she recorded. I remember she recorded the call. Hmm, yes. Excellent. This is gonna be great stuff for the card. Okay, let's talk about your cell phone. Mm-hmm. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remember that detective took my cell phone. Oh, it was Dick Gumshoe. We should possibly talk to him. Hmm, okay, yeah. Let me just ask for it the next time. Thanks. Okay, we got her memo. That's actually, um... Well, let's see what she has to say. Hmm. What's the matter? What's the matter? Favor? Address of a famous lawyer. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, of course we... We can't really, really let this poor girl in trouble. So yeah, I'll go ask the guy if he's around. Why didn't you just ask for me? You already asked for me, and now you want some other guy who's better than me. What are you? What are you thinking? What is this? Dot dot dot. I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Trials tomorrow. That's kind of on a uh, short notice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have to go and uh, what? We can still talk about the day of the crime. Okay. Hmm. Is this the same thing? Okay. Let's see. Let's see either. Okay, it's the same stuff. But why wasn't it? I have no idea. Because usually when you talk about the topic, it gets checked. 
Okay, lights were off. I, you could smell a lot. I guess there's something different here. You found your sister, yes. Thanks, okay. Okay, now it's checked. Cool. So, we are going to be moving. Okay, we go to Grossberg Law Offices. So, that's the address that uh, Maya gave us. Ooh, there's an Indiana Jones painting. painting. Or probably not, but uh, that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, the big boss is out. Big boss. <laughs> oh dear. So. Okay. I have to come back later. Let's examine this place. Let's examine the paint painting. Hmm. Oil paint, blah blah blah, there's nothing. Okay, there's really nothing here, I think, so... Let's go to the uh, law offices. We haven't been here today, so... Let's go check it out. Uh-huh. Yes. What is this? Is it Dick? It's Dick. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Oh, sorry, I don't... Yeah, we just met at the scene of the gr gr crime. Well, you're the bus guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, I, sorry, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That bus guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? Ah, he was proven innocent. <laughs> um, right, and you were... Detective Gumshoe or Detective uh, What Sudasus and Detective Gum Tree. Yeah, it's it was Gumshoe. Let's just, let's try to not piss him off so that we could possibly get the phone from him. Right. At your service. Hang on. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right and <laughs> Hey Dick, get over here. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, don't call me a dick. Uh, oh, I'm gonna love these dialogues. That's why I love this game. You're her lawyer, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. He thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Okay, so... Well, first of all, let's talk about Mia. Let's see what he has to say about Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm. You want me? Want to know the results? Ah, uh, yeah, I would like to. <laughs> no use. Okay. I want special treatment. All right. But that's all. Nice. We got the autopsy report. We could possibly check that later. And now let's talk about Maya. If we could get the phone from him, possibly. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Are you so sure? Hmm. But the prosecutor Edgeward Wow, that is bad news bears Edgeward. Yes. Let's talk about Edgeward. Yeah, in the first episode we were facing Mr. Payne and he was kinda lacking presence, but this guy won't be. Prosecutor, Prosecutor Edgeward. He's a real deal. Okay, Mr. Miles Edgeward himself. Mm-hmm. Let's say of course I do. Yes. He doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Okay. <laughs> True. But that's what he kinda is, actually. If you just know the guy. Ooh, he's a young young guy. He's twenty, just like me. I wish I was a prosecutor. That would be fun. Or not. Hard work. Mm hmm Okay, rambling. Moving on. Uh So, could we possibly present something to him? We 
can't talk to him anymore. Let's see where we can go. Let's try to visit the Crossberg Law Office. Nothing here, okay. Let's visit the detention center again. Okay, she has not something new to say. Okay, so this was the right place to go. Yeah, and now we have to inform her with the sad news that Mr. Grosberg wasn't around. Haven't seen him yet. Yeah. Mm hmm. Can we talk to her about anything? Your family. What about your family? Let's see. Mm hmm. A sad story with sad music. Mm hmm. And let's talk about her mother. Okay, everybody has been a medium, ESP, 15 years ago, blah blah blah, okay, an incident, there was a man and he, um, okay, he ruined mother's life, hmm, after that she disappeared, several years after that, I don't really know if I should keep that voice <laughs> note, okay, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain, okay. It's a good idea to leave the mountain. I don't want I wouldn't like to live in the mountain. Might be cold out there. Okay, rambling. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about her mother's enemy. Who was this man? About fifteen years ago there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Okay, the police was running running out of leads and they were Getting desperate. Mm hmm. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? Yes. Okay. So, what happened? The case was solved, we thought. Okay. Mm hmm. Was innocent. Okay. Man found found out about it and leaked it to the press. Okay, she was a fraud. Okay, the media jumped. Okay, I guess I can see the rest. What happened next? Ooh, that rhymes. Funny. Okay. Excuse me, White. Hmm. That was her name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Okay, so now we can talk about more stuff, so we could possibly move again. Let's go, let's try to see if Grossberg would be, okay, he's not around still. Let's go to the law offices. Okay, we possibly have to present something. Or does he, does he have anything new? Nope. Uh, let's present. Mm hmm. Maya's memo. Let's present this actually. I was wondering, did you see. Oh, yes. Excellent. Oh, that? I have that. Oh. Hmm. Sure, I mean, no. Uh, wait a sec, pal. Tricky lawyer. Ho ho ho. He told me, um, let's, let's be a bit sneaky, tell him not so straight, <laughs> let's go with that, eh, uh, yeah, what should I tell him, something the matter, oh no, um, on the cell phone, uh, oh, this, it says, the steel samurai warrior of the near old Tokyo, the steel samurai thing will be actually a case later on, just heads up. Mm hmm, yes, Action Hero TV is a collector's item. Hmm, yes. Haha, you sneaky bastard, Phoenix. Hopefully, this works. Okay, pal. Haha, ha ha ha. Here you go. Ha ha ha, he didn't know this to record a conversation. Excellent, we got the cell phone. Mm hmm. 
Okay. You dumb pal. Okay, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. What does he want? Mm-hmm. One more thing. One more thing. Okay. Talking with that, to that witness. Anyways, you, know, you better not. No influencing the witness with your loyalty ways, pal. Herp de derp. <sighs> Holy crap. Holy cow. Hmm. Yes. Me too. I almost completely forgot about her. Then I saw the Magambos. God damn it. The witness. Hmm. Miss April May. What a beautiful name. Okay. You can't tell anything about her. Okay. <laughs> he just told her name. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Oh ho ho! Yes, lawyer, lawyer tricks again. We just tricked you. So, oh, we are already reached the 20 minute mark. I you think I'm gonna end this episode soon? Let, let's just go through this uh, conversation. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. And, uh, let's just check out the uh, conversation here. Okay, it's in like three pages, so... Okay, okay, this is gonna be important stuff later on, so we'll have to study when we get to the court, possibly. But, we have the phone, and uh, in the next episode, when we come back, we are going to go uh, visit that uh, surprisingly hot witness that we uh, shouldn't visit, according to Dick Gumshoe. But we are going to do that anyways, because... I don't care. So, uh, until next time, spade is out. Peace.